Welcome back to our video series on how to FreeBSD. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a graphical desktop environment. Um, now, before you do that and you proceed through this video, you need to ensure that you've watched part one, two, and three. Part one goes through the basic installation of FreeBSD and installing some commands such as sudo and do as. Now, part two will go through boot environments. If you don't know what boot environments are, please go back and check that video out. They're very useful and I use them throughout this video series. Part three will show you how to install your graphics card drivers. Now, obviously, you're going to need to have graphics card drivers installed before we proceed to installing the graphical desktop. So whether you're running Intel, Nvidia, AMD, the instructions are in the previous video. So I will leave all the links to the videos in the description below, but please just make sure you've followed them. Um, just a word of warning, if you just dive into this video and you try installing it, if you've not got your graphics card drivers installed, it's just not going to work. Um, but let's dive straight in. All right, so now we have our graphic card drivers installed and stuff we need to uh go ahead and actually install a desktop environment so just before i do that if you remember um i went over how to use boot environments so before making any major changes let's go ahead and create a boot environment so i'm going to do our bec ctl and we can list them if you remember to see which ones we've got uh, i'm going to do uh do as i'm going to create kde5 and then I'll activate that. And then we'll just reboot into it. We should have rebooted, so jump back in. And if we do do as B E C T L list. Um as I mentioned previously. N is the one now, so that's one that's now active. And the R is one that's active on reboot, so we're good. We're in the right boot environment. So now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, package, do our package install KDE5. So this is going to take one gig download, and it'll take it. It's a, got one gig to download and five gig space required. So obviously make sure you've got enough space before you start doing this. Um, and also take into account how fast your internet is for how long this will take. Let's pause that there until it's finished. All right, that's done. So, um, we're probably going to want it to start automatically. Um, we also need to. KDE uses DBus for hardware abstractions, so we need to make sure that's installed. So. And it is. We want sysrc dbus underscore enable equals yes. Do that. Uh, we want, did I install? I can't remember, did I install this DDM? No, I didn't. So sddm is the what starts it automatically. So what we're going to do is we sys rc sddm underscore enable equals yes you're going to do that so that should be pretty much kde installed so if i switch back to the console i'm just going to reboot the system Okay, so that's the KDE login screen. Um, I'm going to need a mouse. <laughs> I've not got one here. One second. Okay. 
Right, I'll plug my mouse in. So, what we need to do is... It says Plasma Wayland, which doesn't work properly. Um, on FreeBSD, so we need to change that to Plasma X11. And now we can go ahead and log in. If you um, don't change it to Plasma X11 from Wayland, then it's just going to look like it's hung. Um, and that's KDE loaded. So if we go into system settings, um, you're going to want to set your region. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Regional settings. So, move my head out of the way. That's not, that. That's not what I'm looking for. Looking for a keyboard. So we're going to keyboard. Um, we've got layouts, and it's obviously going to be set to the default one. We can do configure layouts. I'm going to add English UK. Go ahead and add that in. Move it up. Uh, this one we can remove. Look at that stupid logo that's in the way. Apply the changes. We've got the proper keyboard now. And then that should be us. So then you go into appearance. I'm sure you know how to use KDE. Um, go ahead, apply the frame. And that's our desktop installed. Uh, sometimes these are missing. Sleep, shut down and restart. Uh, and if they are, you need to um, make sure that your user is a member of the operator group. So this group here. So you need to be in the operator group and you need to be in the video group. Um, and that's KDE up and running. And there you have it. That's how you install a graphical desktop environment on FreeBSD. It's very easy to do, as is installed in most packages on FreeBSD. If you did find this video useful, please hit that like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. You never know, you might find some videos that you like. If you hit that notifications icon, you'll receive a notification of any new videos as they are done. And we do have a members section on this channel where videos are released to members first before they're released to the public, so you may also consider that. Um, but before you go anywhere, I'm going to leave a link to some videos that you might find interesting.